what's up internet? Umabot na tayo ng 40k subs and kagaya nung sinabi ko dati, every time umabot tayo ng plus 20 na milestone, gagawa ako ng YouTube team video. Pero marami na rin nagbago since nag-start ako 2 years ago mag-YouTube and isa sa mga pinakamalaking pagbabago ay may sponsor na tayo. Kung naghahanap ka ng legit Windows 10 Pro CD key, may special promo ngayon ng CD key offers for Black Friday. Mura na sila dati, mas mura pa sila ngayon. And may dagdag 20% discount if you use our promo code. Add to cart, check out, daan ka sa payment options nila, wala pa isang minuto, finished. May legit working CD key ka na sa software na pinili mo. Gamitin ang aming promo code para makakuha pa ng extra 20% discount sa purchase mo. Kung naghanap ka ng mura, legit, and original software, check out cdkoffers.com. So when I hit 20k subs, gumawa ako ng video detailing magkano ba talaga kita ako sa YouTube. And doon sa video na yun, sabi ko na pagdating natin sa 40, gagawa ako ng video on how I make videos. Kasi nung nagsimula ako, 2 years ago, wala akong alam at all. Wala akong alam sa video editing, sa recording, sa audio, sa lighting, sa focus, sa cinematography, all of the technical details. I knew nothing. Tapos kung manood ka sa ibang channels, parang ang dali-dali lang para sa kanila. Palaging in focus yung host, ang ganda ng audio, malinaw, yung may parang camera movement pa sila, tapos may lighting, tapos ang ganda ng pagka-cut and pagka-edit. But when I try to do those things, ang hirap pala. Mukhang madali, pero actually, <laughs> uh, matrabaho tong paggawa ng mga YouTube videos. Yung alam ko lang talaga, ayoko gumastos. Kuripot ako, tapos itong channel na to was meant to be free marketing for the shop. So, anong klaseng free marketing yan kung gagastos ka pa para sa equipment? So, lahat ng mga ginamit ko dati and most of the equipment I still use now, lahat to second hand. Mga nahanap ko lang, yung ibang tech na pwedeng ma-repurpose for shooting videos and things like that. So, yun pa rin philosophy ko while shooting videos. Ayoko gumastos. As much as possible, everything that I use, either may free version, either second hand, or yun, walang gumagamit sa bahay, tapos in arbor ko na lang. So, it's been 2 years and 40k subs later, marami pa rin akong hindi alam but I hope the little that I have learned in that time can help you out with your own YouTube or with your own video editing. So number one, and ito libre, find a good place to shoot. Nung nagsimula yung Hardware Sugar sa YouTube, hindi pa kami dito sa bagong shop namin ngayon. Ang liit nung shop namin dati, kaya hindi ako makashoot doon, hindi ako makarecord doon. So if you watch our old videos, kung saan saan ako nagre-record and <laughs> to be honest, ang pangit talaga nung results. Um, Ang weird ng mga camera angles, nakaganon pa minsan, yung audio hindi maganda, yung lighting sobrang either too dark or the face is too zoomed in. So sa simula, sobrang helpful talaga to find a consistent place na may access ka that you can shoot. Number one, na flat yung surface. Yung it's easy to find a surface where to put the camera. Uh, the lighting is controlled. So kahit anong oras, pwede ka pumunta doon and pwede ka mag-shoot. Kung isipin mo, parang simple lang, but it will really make a big difference doon sa quality of your videos because you can standardize most of what you need to do. Alam mo na saan mo lalagay yung camera, alam mo na yung blocking mo, alam mo saan ka uupo, alam mo how close the camera has to be usually and things like that. So the more things that you can make automatic or that you can make standard, the better. And that's what having a standard place to shoot helps you do. Yung mainam din sa bagong lugar namin dito, yung bagong pwesto ni Hardware Sugar, palagi may build sa likod. So if you go through our more recent videos, pabago-bago yung mga computers sa likod kasi yun, iba-ibang customer, iba-ibang mga hardware, iba-ibang mga rigs na pinapagawa. So at least medyo random din naman yung likod. It's a steady location but at the same time, Hindi naman boring yung background. Medyo may randomness sa background. And nagagamit ko rin yun for the purpose of marketing. Uh, ang daming nakakita ng videos tapos tatanungin, Oy, ano yung case sa likod? Or ano yung AIO? Or ano yung monitor? And things like that. So, find a good place to shoot. Consistent. Na madali yung access. But hopefully, sana at the same time, na medyo may, may pabago-bago konti. Nag nagbabago naman yung background konti. Para hindi naman boring for the audience. Number two is equipment. And nung nagsimula kami, gamit ko lang yung cellphone ko. Itong OnePlus 5T, second hand to. And for maybe the first year, ito lang gamit ko. Using the front-facing camera. Recently, maybe mga six months ago, may iPhone 6R, yung misis ko. Tapos may iPad siya. And yun, inarbor ko yun. <laughs> nung di siya tumitingin one time, 
basically kinuha ko yung iPhone niya pati iPad niya tapos medyo tinago ko tapos nakalimutan na niya K- kasi hindi di niya talaga niya ginagamit eh parang bigay lang to nung office niya hindi niya masyado pinapansin and so one day uh, when she wasn't looking I just took them and started using them second hand din tong dalawang main drivers ko ngayon yung main camera na gamit ko yung sa iPhone XR and then yung main monitor ko yung iPad uh, I'll explain why I need the iPad in a little bit tapos yung audio this is one of the few pieces na binili ko talaga this is the Boyd BYDM1 uh, lavalier microphone so it's a simple lav mic parang didikit mo lang siya dito sa collar mo it's wired so nakakabit sa iPhone and binili ko to sa Henry's camera this is in a sponsored post by Henry's pero I'm super thankful to them kasi yun nga, wala akong alam at all. So, tinanong ko talaga yung staff na, you know, this is what I need it for, and itong equipment ko, what can you suggest? The staff at Henry's was very helpful. And relatively mura lang to, I think it was around a thousand pesos or something like that. And the jump in audio quality is noticeable. Uh, in fact, may nag-comment sa YouTube na, ang ganda ng mic na gamit mo. But it's a very simple mic, and uh, ayun, at a certain point, kailangan mo rin mag-gastos konti. Recent lang itong addition itong microphone na to, and as with all equipment, parang kailangan masanay ka rin. Parang, I also didn't know how to use this microphone at first. May kinalikot pa na settings dun sa app na ginagamit ko pang record. And so, that's the thing. Uh, again, wala talaga akong alam sa video shooting and all of this AV stuff. Kung bibili ka ng equipment, malaki yung chance na baka masayang lang because you don't know how to use it. Ganun ako. So lahat ng equipment na binibili ko for the YouTube channel, sinisigurado ko talaga na sobrang simple lang at ma- magagets ko. <laughs> um, yung feeling ko sa camera equipment, parang yung mga newbies sa PC. Kasi, you know, I run Hardware Sugar, sanay naman ako sa mga computer, yung mga specs, te- technical things like that. Pero, I know some people, medyo beginner, medyo natatakot pagdating sa computer, ganun ako pagdating sa mga audiovisual equipment. Uh, hindi ko maintindihan yung mga focus, yung mga frame, yung mga camera lenses, audio and things like that. That's why, whenever I buy something, I make sure yung pinakamura lang at yung magagamit ko talaga. And so, this lavalier mic from Henry is really worked out. Yung isa pang piece of equipment na binili ko rin talaga is may LED ring light ako na mura galing Lazada. Ito talaga pang vloggers, but I don't really use it as a to hold the camera tapos close in sa mukha ko. It's more like for general lighting. And uh, based on other YouTube tutorials, kailangan dapat may diffuser ka para sa light. Um, yun, wala pa ako. Yung, yung weird sa lighting, too much light also, hindi maganda. Kung pansinin mo yung ibang mga YouTube channels, gusto nila soft, diffused light. In fact, usually mga background medyo madilim, tapos in focus lang yung host. So, I don't know how to do that yet. And basically, I just use the LED ring light to make sure na hindi talaga madilim and, and to try to eliminate as many shadows as possible but uh, it's sobra mura lang nito and actually it's been quite useful nagagamit ko rin sa streaming nagagamit ko rin uh, when i need to shoot at night tas wala talagang ilaw sa labas so just as a backup source of light maganda siya tas yun nga mura lang siya galing Lazada and finally i do have some tripods for the cell phones to hold them in place while i'm recording you'll notice many of my videos are static so hindi ako gumagalaw masyado naka in place lang sa tripod yung camera and basically I'm just talking to the camera and cutting to B-roll. Number three, software. So yung ginagamit ko on the iPhone to record is Filmic Pro. App siya and ito unfortunately may bayad. At first I was just using the default software on the iPhone pero yung medyo I wanted more control and itong si Filmic Pro um, ang dami niyang features like you can you can it's easy to set like what resolution you're shooting in you can zoom in you can set the lighting you can set the color warmth or and then may autofocus may manual focus then so dami features ni filmic pro na i decided i wanted to try experimenting para yung gusto mo rin talaga sa youtube channel yes hindi gumastos but at the same time pataas ng pataas naman yung level of quality and i, I think we've been able to do that to a certain extent at a certain point kailangan mo rin magbayad konti bumili nung ibang equipment and bumili nung software so si filmic pro i think it was like 15 dollars medyo mahal to be honest medyo masakit sa loob ko pero yun binili ko tas no regrets naman kasi yun nga ang dami niyang features na na unlock um, that you can't do with the standard default software dun sa phone mo. Tapos yung maganda pa sa Filmic Pro, may partner app siya, yung Filmic Remote. Ano yung Filmic Remote? Basically, you can watch whatever the camera can see. Kaya yan yung, yan yung gamit ko sa iPad. Lahat ng nakikita ni camera, nakikita ni iPad. 
like this. So everything the camera sees, the iPad can see. And why is that important? I always shoot alone. Wala akong kasama pag nagre-record ako. So walang staff na naghahawak ng camera, walang staff na nagse-set ng zoom and ng lighting. Kung magbabago po esto ko at kailangan palitan yung settings, ako ako gumagawa ng lahat, yung lighting, etc. And then sa simula, since cellphone naman gamit ko, ginagamit ko yung forward facing, or sorry, yung backward facing camera. Kumbaga yung part of the phone na nakatingin sa palagi. So, yung maganda doon, you can see what the phone sees, what the camera sees kasi uh, nasa harap mo yung screen. Yung problema doon, mas maganda yung forward facing camera or yung camera na nasa nandito sa likod ng cellphone. Because yan yung camera na usually gamit ng mga tao pang recording, pang photos and things like that. Backward facing, usually pang selfies lang yan. So, mas maganda yung mega, mas malaki megapixels ng forward facing camera. So, I wanted to start using the forward facing camera para mas maganda yung video quality. Yung problema, nakatalikod na yung phone sa akin. Hindi ko na makita anong nare-record. And that matters since I'm alone when I record. And that's why I got Filmic Remote. I can control everything in Filmic Pro through Filmic Remote. So, lahat ng controls na nasa Filmic Pro nandito sa Filmic Remote and I can adjust it in real time. I want to change the focus. I want to change the lighting. I want to um, change the audio or change the resolution and things like that. Lahat ng magagawa mo sa Filmic Pro nandito sa Filmic Remote. And so, I use the iPad as my primary monitor to see what the camera sees, to adjust if necessary, and palagi nangyayari, I, I'm shooting, may dadating sa likod ko, may delivery, may late na customer, or whatever. So I need to stop recording, uh, tatayo ako, uh, asikasuhin ko muna yung shop business, and then babalik ako. Kung wala si Filmic Remote, maguhula na lang ako na tama ba pwesto ko, um, tama ba yung lighting, baka nagbago na yung position ng case, kailangan ko ba palitan ulit. And so Filmic Remote plus yung Filmic Pro really helps me shoot by myself. Which I think a lot of vloggers do since ako personally nahiya kasi ako manggulo ng ibang tao. Ayo ayo ko, you know, mangungulit ka na, oy, uh, you know, punta ka sa misis mo, punta ka sa staff mo, or sa kaibigan mo na, uh, you know, I need to shoot another video. Can you hold the camera? And to be honest, medyo matagal to mga shoot na to. Paminsan, you know, my head's just not in the game. Tapos I can't, you know, I can't remember what I have to say. And then pabalik balik. Paminsan yung B-roll matagal. And there are so many things that can go wrong in a shoot, kira technical wise, host wise. And so I don't want to. Yung yana iya ako na to subject somebody na going cameraman palagi, uh, going you know lighting crew or whatever. So I always shoot alone and the filmic. Pro plus the Filmic Remote really help with that. Uh, unfortunately, yun nga, may bayad din si Filmic Remote. <laughs> Wala silang bundle pack na Filmic Pro plus Filmic Remote. Pero yun, for me, there, is, there was no way around it talaga. Um, sinubukan ko na yung ibang options, but this is really the best. And you really get what you pay for. Yes, may nakagastos ka, pero quality naman. Sulit naman. Especially because it really helps me shoot by myself. For editing, gamit ko yung DaVinci Resolve and it's still a bit tricky to learn. Pero kung nasanay ka na sa ibang editing software, mas madali nang i-pick up si DaVinci Resolve. And among the software that I've tried, it's the most straightforward and the easiest to use to get the kind of effects that, that you usually want. Hindi lang yung basic cutting, but you can do like pip and pip and then zoom and things like that. Um, I've also been able to do like text and basic animations. Kung ako yung nag edit ng video, DaVinci Resolve yung gamit ko na software. Although, as I mentioned in other videos, we usually have a full-time editor doing our videos. And she's a much, much better editor than me. So usually, hinahayaan ko na siya. Although, I do like sometimes to do a rough edit of a video and then give it to her and ask her to smooth everything out. So for those times, I use DaVinci Resolve. And the last piece of software na super important din, how to transfer files from your camera to your desktop where you're going to edit them, where you're going to send them to your editor, where you're going to upload them to YouTube. Ito libre, I use Theme. It's an app and it transfers files via Wi-Fi. Marami bang options paano maglipat ng files from your phone to your desktop to your laptop. Pero I found Theme is the easiest to use. Madali lang yung directory structure, madali lang hanapin yung mga files na gusto mong ipadala. Kasi yung ibang, yung ibang software, sobrang nakakalito. Sobrang nainis ako na, sobrang simple lang. I just want to transfer files from my phone to my desktop. but pa kailangan sobrang complicated? And you know, the other software I tried, uh, yun nga, parang dami pang echeboreche, dami pang kailangan gawin, dami pang pinipili, parang ganun. Theme is lightweight, Theme is easy to use, and Theme does it over Wi-Fi. So, di mo na kailangan hanapit pa yung cable, saksak pa sa USB, or something like that. 
So theme is free and it's super useful. I use it a lot. So ayon, basic three things. Um, one, find a good place to shoot that you can access all the time. Number two, yung tech na gamit ko, iPhone XR and the iPad as a primary monitor. Sometimes still my OnePlus 5T for B-roll. The lavalier mic, which I got from Henry's, and the LED ring light, and the tripod, which is off camera. And the number three is the software that I use: Filmic Pro, Filmic Remote, Theme, and DaVinci Resolve. So you know, it's been a crazy two years and 40k subs later. To be honest, and dami ko bang hindi alam. Um, tas naiingit ako sa ibang YouTubers na parang ang ganda talaga ng mga channel sila, ang ganda ng quality ng videos. But but what I promise you guys and what I promise myself is that na we're getting there. Nakita mo naman na paonte onte, medyo gumaganda naman yung video quality natin. And so I do want to keep trying to get better, try to try to make the videos more understandable, um, easier to follow, and at least yung maganda sa tech and sa software. Lahat yun na upgrade, yung mic na upgrade, yung camera na upgrade, yung lighting na upgrade. Pero yung hindi yan na upgrade is yung host. So, um, I, you know, you're stuck with me for as long as we do the YouTube channel. Ah, uh, you know, sinusubukan ko rin. Um, I, I read your comments and I try to adjust based on what other people say. For instance, some people, uh, parang na, na tataranta talaga, na, you know, di sila makatulog. They're very bothered na I don't blink. So, I am trying to blink now more often. And um, uh, some other things. Um, some people have asked if I have a script. Uh, no, I don't have a script. Everything. I do have an outline. So, I, I do make an outline for every video and I try to hit the points in the outline. This is how I trained. Um, as some of you know, na bagit ko nga sa 20k video. I was a professor before. That's also how I did my lectures. No script, just outline. Um, some of you also know that I'm a lawyer, and yun dun sa trabaho ko dante. Same technique, no script, just outline. Because for one, wala naman ako ng teleprompt. So ano yung may script niya? Hindi mo naman mabasa. <laughs> and uh, number two, I, I, I like the the extemporaneous space having an outline requires. Because sometimes when you rehearse me outline, pero pagdating sa video or pagdating you know when you need to make that speech, when you need when you need to make that lecture, parang may spontaneous thing na oh, ang ganda palan, you know parang may umiikot dun sa utak mo and then nalabas lang kasi um, because there was space to do so, kasi extemporaneous naman siya within a certain format. So I will try to get better as a host and hopefully onward to 100k. And before I go, lastly, kaya nung nabanggit ko dante, until we reach 100k, we'll have YouTube videos every 20k. So 20k was magkano kita ko sa YouTube, 40k was how do I shoot my YouTube videos. For the rest, palitan natin konte. So binabago ko yung inannounce ko dun sa 20k video. Moving forward, yung 60k video will be the mean comments video. So <laughs> um, there are a lot of actually there are a lot of funny mean comments uh, <laughs> na ka accumulate over the two years that I've been doing this. So I'll read those and uh, try ko po na hindi umiyak. Uh, you know, some of them some of them hurt, man. Some of them are cutting, but uh, I'll, I'll try to you know I'll try to keep it together. 60k will be the mean comments video. 80k, I'm gonna talk about like the biggest mistakes uh, I've done or. You know, we do a lot of tech videos, hardware sugar, to go sa tech yung hardware sugar. And to be honest, um, I I'm always still learning. Marami rin ang uh, pagkakamali. Uh, you know, I'm an idiot. I get stuff wrong all the time. And as much as I try na re-research ko talaga yung topics beforehand, uh, I don't know everything. So paminsan, may makakalusot na error or may sasabihin ako na it turns out mali pala. So ATK will discuss that. Will be my mea culpa. Kumbaga, my my I'm sorry na uh, tanga ako. I have mistakes uh, in the videos, and then the ATK video will be uh, my top mistakes so far. <laughs> um, I already have two that I'll, I'll talk about, but siguro over time madadagdag pa yan because we all make mistakes, um, especially me. And then, doon sa 100k, parang inisip ko dati na cool na kung naka-livestream ako pag umabot ng 100k. Pero to be honest, nung ginawa ko yun, uh, two months ago, yung 20k video, akala ko sobrang interesting mag-livestream and sobrang cutting edge. Pero uh, nagla-livestream na kami ngayon a lot. If, if you watch our channel, you know, may pwede magtanong. Where we, it's a live tech show where we try to answer your questions. Uh, ba't hindi gumagano computer mo? Ba't nagka-crash? And things like that. So that's one show. Another show we now do is in the industry where we interview Filipinos in the 
mga locals dito sa PC industry, whether kung gaming, pwede sa design, mga business people, dun sa mga streaming, mga ganyan. So in the industry, we have a one-on-one -on -one interview with uh, personalities dito sa PC industry ng Pinas. So that's another show we do. And the number three is in the shop, where once a month, I shoot from here, from, from the shop, live from Hardware Sugar. So we do a lot of live stream shows now and to be honest parang I'm like well live stream parang normal na lang yan di ako na excited so mag-iisip pa ako nung anong maganda for 100k anong magandang video to commemorate pagdating natin sa 100k subscriber mark if you have any ideas please let me know in the comments and um ayun that's it for now 2 years and 40k subs later tuloy pa rin tayo marami pa rin like you know I still know nothing about video recording and things like that but I hope some of the videos have been useful and I hope Itong video na to, nakatulong kung inisip mo na Uy, gawa kaya ako ng YouTube channel Or kailangan mo lang mag-record for school or for work or things like that I hope nakatulong naman to kahit papaano Thanks for watching